this is 43 Western Ave in Bangor. It's kind of a colonial. It's on Western Ave, which is uh, kind of right in town. The school is back there. That ball field is right there. It's kind of a nice lot. You do have a front porch with a front entry, but you've got a side entry. Detached two-car garage, paved driveway. Um, the current owner has been using the garage um, for storage, but it does come with it. Um, this sort of back entry area was added on uh, by the prior owner. So they've got a family room here, which is really good size. And it's all hardwood floors throughout the original house. They had refinished them uh, back probably 15 years ago and then on the first floor. And then the owner who bought it uh, five or six years ago took up the carpet upstairs and refinished the uh, floors on the second floor, which were the original um, plank wood floors. So one of the neat things here is it's got a nice back deck, which is really big. In the spring, we're going to pressure wash that and uh, stain it and then it's got a lot that goes way back into the trees so it has a nice backyard again good size it does have a ceiling fan in addition to the uh, in ceiling lighting so the original house of course had just one bathroom so when they did this addition they added a second bathroom which is really nice also comes with a stackable washer dryer and of course has a shower you do have a closet here, you should come in too. And then you walk into the kitchen, which would have been the original house. Uh, pretty good size uh, kitchen. It's got some more uh, countertop and cabinet space over here, and it looks into the dining room. They opened up that wall, which is kind of nice. That painting is uh, of the house. Um, again, pretty good size for an older house to have a Decent sized kitchen as far as cabinets and stuff. It does have the built-in microwave. The stove is gas, dishwasher. Uh, the dining area here, um, or I guess somebody could use it as a double living room if they wanted to, but dining is what it was intended to do. It's got the ceiling fan, it's got the window seat, and then it walks into the living room, which again has ceiling fan and nice wood floors. Uh, also, the windows have uh, pretty much all been replaced uh, of course, with the exception of the front stained glass one. Um, so that helps. This floor was just redone. Um, we still have to do a little quarter round on it, but this is the front entry, of course. And it does have another little closet there. Uh, as you go upstairs, this is where these had been carpeted. And the last owner uh, took up the carpet and refinished these nice original um, wood board floors. So as you walk here, this is the smallest room, which is probably still mid-size compared to most. There we go, we're back in focus. Has a good size closet on that side. And then over on this side, you've got a really good size room. A lot of times with these colonials, you've got a couple small rooms in the master, but this is big. And it's got good size closet even here. There's no like tiny closet. Which often was the case with these older houses, they'd have really tiny closets. So this is the full bath upstairs. Have tub shower, of course. There's a linen closet in the corner. And then vanity toilet. And from there you walk into the master, which you've got closet on your right. And good size bedroom here. The um, original, what I would say was the original closet is over here. So again, kind of standardized size closet. And then it does have multi-zone heat too. So there's a thermostat up here uh, for the top floor. There's a thermostat downstairs. And then there's another thermostat in the back room. So multi-zone heat helps you uh, with your heat cost a little bit. And then this is again, the kind of walk-in closet for the master. And it does even have this little like uh, shelving closet in addition to all the stuff here as well. So that completes 43 Western Ave in Hamden. If you would be interested in renting it, let us know at 974-6606 or www.rentbangor.com.